In this demonstration, I will show you how you can install Ubuntu on Windows 11 using Windows Subsystem for Linux, also known as WSL. The first thing we need to do is to turn on certain Windows features that will allow us to do this. So go to Start menu and type Windows Features. And on the search items, open the Turn Windows Features on and off. And in this window, there are two items that we need to enable so that we will have the access to certain features that allow us to install Ubuntu. So the features that we need to enable is the virtual mach machine platform. So this one. And the next item we need to enable is the Windows subsystem for Linux. So that would be this one. So go into the Windows features and make sure that you enable the Windows uh, uh, subsystem for Linux and virtual machine platform. Then click OK. And that will install these features on your Windows 11 machine. And at the end, it will ask you to restart your computer. So make sure that you do uh, that process so that it will get installed properly. So we're going to go restart now. So when the, once the restart is done, uh, what you need to do is you need to log back in. And the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that the WSL has been installed. To do that, go to Start menu and type CMD, which is the command prompt, and make sure to open it as the administrator. So select the option called Run as Administrator. And on the UAC, we're going to say Yes. And now you have the command prompt in the administrative mode. And the next thing we're going to do now is to make sure that the WSL is properly installed. To do that, we're going to type w, w, uh, WSL and then we're going to go dash dash install. So what you need to enter is WSL dash dash install and then press enter. So that should make sure that you have installed WSL and uh, you can double check that again or you can check it again by running the command WSL dash dash install and press enter. Next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and download the Ubuntu from the Microsoft Store. You can do that either by going into start and opening Microsoft Store here or you may have an icon uh, pinned to your taskbar if you just install Windows 11. So I'm going to go to Microsoft Store. And in here, you need to search for Ubuntu. So in, you can go to the search at the top and you can start typing Ubuntu. So let's do that. So here you go. We have the Ubuntu app. And we also have this option called Ubuntu 22.04 uh, TLS. So what we need to do is we need to search for any of the Ubuntu versions that you would like to download. So I will be downloading this version. So it doesn't really matter which one you install. And we're going to say get. So depending on your internet connection and how fast your computer is, this might take a while. So it will start downloading. So wait for it to download. So once the Ubuntu has been downloaded, click open. And here is a common error that you might run in into. So that will give you an error message saying WSL registration distribution fail with this particular error code. So this is a very common error with the newest version of Windows 11 as of 2022 July. The reason why this happened is because you need to update certain items in the WSL2 that is not being properly updated 
by the windows with the newer version so there is a fix for this so i will show you how you can do that fix uh, what you need to do is you need to open your uh, uh, web browser and you need to go to the microsoft uh, site uh, i will leave a link in the description for this particular fix so what we need to do now is after you are on this website you need to go to the uh, the option called the step 4 where it says the Linux kernel update package and you need to click on this WSL2 Linux kernel update package. So before we do that, uh, we're going to make sure that we are out of here. Uh, so now we're going to click on this. And that's going to download a update package from Windows. Then go to that uh, package, right click, and then uh, select the option called install. And we're gonna go next. And on her, in here, UAC, we're gonna say yes. And we're gonna click finish. So what you need to do is you go need to, uh, after the reboot, uh, restart you go to the uh, Microsoft Store and you can open uh, your Ubuntu that you downloaded from the library because you have uh, installed that already so it should show up in here sometimes it does show up right here as well under recommended because you just downloaded it and you're gonna say open on that Ubuntu and that will give you a welcome to Ubuntu and it will start installing your Ubuntu package so that's what you need to do So to, just to prove that uh, I have installed Ubuntu, uh, I can show you that it is installed by going cd uh, and slash mnt slash and that will show you that we have the C drive and the E drive and this is actually coming from our Windows. So this is, if you go to my Windows machine, the host itself, see this is a C drive, this is a E drive and on the Ubuntu partition, we also have that C drive and E drive showing up. So this actually proves that the Ubuntu has been installed and you can actually update Ubuntu uh, within this virtual uh, environment as well.